Come on, lift your hands and say, what I prayed is already done. It's already, it's already done. Oh, it's already done. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. We give you thank the glory, you, Lord. Lord. Come on and let's just tell the Lord thank you Hallelujah. because it's already done. We thank you done. for every way that you made. We it's thank you for done. every provision, oh God. Thank you, it's Jesus. Oh, it's hallelujah to your name, God. Hallelujah. We lift you up all over this place, hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. From the depths of our hearts, God, we are thankful. We Ooh, thank you, yes. Jesus. We wouldn't hallelujah. be here today hallelujah. if it wasn't for you, Jesus. Jesus, Hallelujah. if it wasn't for your grace and the new mercy, Hallelujah. oh God, that you give us morning by morning, we thank you, Jesus. Oh, come on and let your praise say that you're thankful. Hallelujah. Let your lips say that you're thankful. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. You, we can go into a song, but it's just good for the Lord to hear our voice and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm not ungrateful, God, but I thank you, Jesus, for waking me up this morning. I thank you, Jesus, for a sound mind. I thank you, Jesus, for peace that surpasses all understanding. I thank you, Jesus, for being a comforter. I thank you, Jesus, for being a friend. I thank you, Jesus, for being my father. I thank you, Jesus, for never leaving me nor forsaking me. I thank you, Jesus, for being there with me, God. I thank you, Jesus, for healing us in our bodies. I thank you, Jesus, for giving us the victory, oh God. I thank you, Jesus, for the enemy that is under our feet. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I I thank you, Jesus, for movement of my limbs, oh God. I thank you, Jesus. You're so worthy of all of my praise. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. There's nobody like you. There's none beside you. I thank you, Jesus, for your everlasting love. I thank you, Jesus, for being a promise keeper. I thank you, Jesus, for your word that is a lamp unto a feet and a light unto our pathway. I thank you, Jesus. Come on and let your hearts be grateful and just lift up a sound of praise to our God today. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name, Jesus. We're thankful, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all can help me sing it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for all you've done. I want to say thank you. From the depths of my heart, for all you've done, on you, I want to say thank you, Jesus, for all you, every way that you made, thank you, Jesus, for all
Joined us in the sanctuary. 
We thank God for those that have joined us virtually online. We have come to praise and to magnify the God that we serve in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He makes me want to shout. Jesus makes me want to shout. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we are rejoicing. And we are glad in it. In the name of the Lord. Put your hands together and give the Lord a round of applause. Go clap your hands off. Be people and shout unto God with the voice of triumph. In the name of the Lord. While I'm standing here, before I give the few announcements that I have to give, during praise and worship, the Lord showed me that I have to reteach Greater Refuge Temple what thanksgiving, praise, and worship looks like. I want to read, I want to define it for you again. I want to show you scripturally the necessity of thanksgiving, the necessity of praise. The necessity of worship. What the posture of praise looks like. I'm going to use David. What the posture of worship looks like. I'm going to use the woman that broke the alabaster box of ointment on Jesus' feet. What, the, what Thanksgiving looks like. I'm going to use the ten lepers. That Jesus healed them as they went. See, many times we think, a pastor may think that the church got it. And you don't have to preach it again. But how many know that faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God? So get ready for it. Get ready for it. I'm going to be real transparent with some of y'all. Some of y'all insulted God during worship. I saw people with their arms folded during the worship service. I see people with their hands on the back of the pew during the worship service. If you got an attitude with God, you got a problem. Tell your neighbor, get ready for it. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. The Lord is leading me right now. We got, we got to revisit that thanksgiving, praise, and worship is a part of our relationship with God. Some of y'all look mad at God. You look mad at your, your neighbor. You look like somebody stepped on your toe. I'm not going to lift my hands. I'm not going to clap my hands because it's inconvenient for me. Well, it was inconvenient for Jesus to die on the cross for your sin, but he hung there for you. He at least deserves some praise. Tell your neighbor, get ready for it. I'm not going to do it this morning. It's interesting. It's interesting I'm coming out of the Psalms this morning. But I'm going to do a series on Thanksgiving. Praise and worship. I'm going to use some of the classic scriptures that we take for granted. We take for granted Psalms 100. We take for granted Psalms 150. We take for granted Psalms 96. And we read them. But how many know when we read the scripture, we got to demonstrate the scripture? Oh, glory to God. Well, with that, I want you in prayer and Bible study from 6 to 655 on this coming Wednesday. Maybe I'll break the ice. In the name of the Lord, during the teach during the teaching hour, Lord of God. No, I'm being honest with your pastor. Some of y'all look like y'all was mad at God. If a bomb if a bomb went off in here, some of y'all wouldn't have moved. Don't insult God by coming into His presence and not appreciating. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, I'm going to get into the content of the songs. When I think about the Lord, I'm going to pause for just give me, give me two minutes. 
how he raised me, how he saved me, how he filled me with the Holy Ghost. And some of y'all look like so. How he picked me up, turned me around, placed my feet on solid ground. It makes me want to shout. It makes me want to praise him. It makes me want to lift my hands. It makes me want to give God the glory. It makes me want to say, Lord, I thank you for a brand new day. It makes me want to say, Lord, I could have been lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. It makes me want to shout that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. It makes me want to shout because I got breath on the inside of me. And I'll just stop right here. Psalm 156 says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. I don't want no rock praising God for me. I don't want no animal praising God for me. But the oxygen that I'm breathing in and out, it belongs to God. I said, the oxygen that I'm breathing in and out, it belongs to God. Let me remind you, there's somebody in the hospital right now that can't breathe on their own. They're hooked up to a ventilator. Oxygen has to be pumped into their lungs so they can breathe but i woke up this morning with a god that said i'll give you one more day and who knows this sunday might be the last day on the earth and i want god to know that i'm thankful for another day your week may not have gone the way you wanted it to you may not have got the answers that you wanted this week. Somebody might have treated you wrong and called you out of your name. But guess what? You're still here. You didn't lose your mind. You didn't give up on God. Because he didn't give up on you. It's time that we find the posture of thanksgiving. The posture of worship, the posture of praise. If God has been good to you, we need to show some sign. It's in Him that we live. It's in Him that we move. It's in Him that we have a being. God's not dead. He's yet alive. I can feel Him in my hands. I can feel him in my feet. I can feel him all over me. Don't be an ingrate. When God has woke you up this morning, don't be an ingrate. When he heals your body, oh, glory to God, if you really want to praise him, look back and see where the Lord has brought you from. Look back and see uh, when you didn't know Jesus, uh, but now uh, you're here. Uh, and I want to tell a few people, he deserves uh, more praise. Uh, we can't praise him enough. Uh, if we had 10,000 tongues, uh, I would praise him with everyone. Uh, but use the tongue you got and give God the glory. around the fourth verse it says enter oh glory to God that's the key how many want to enter into the presence of God not just in the church but at your bedside when you're in the bathroom how many want God to enter when you can't come before God sloppy you can't come before God with a bad attitude you can't come Your 
neighbor uh, and say it's time to enter. Oh, glory to God. Uh, oh, hallelujah. The Bible lets us know uh, that David would say, uh, enter uh, into his gates. Uh, oh, glory to God. Uh, I want to pause right here uh, just for a few moments. Uh, some of you, uh, you're not behind the gate. Uh, you're in front of the gate. Uh, and I want you to know that the gate won't open. Uh, oh, glory to God. Uh, there's a key uh, to opening up the gate. Uh, it's not because you look good. Uh, it's not because you were born uh, on the right side of the tracks. Uh, but the Bible says, Mario, uh, to enter uh, into his gate. Uh, oh, glory to God. Uh, does that just mean I can just walk in uh, with an attitude? Uh, does that just mean I can walk in uh, doing what I feel like doing? Uh, oh, glory to God. Uh, but the psalmist said to enter uh, into his gate with thanksgiving. Uh, oh, glory to God. Uh, how many are thankful right now? Uh, you're thankful. Uh, oh, glory to God. Let me tell you that thanksgiving uh, is an attitude. Oh, glory to God. Thanksgiving says that God has been good to me. I'm thankful for what I have right now. Oh, glory to God. I'm thankful for what the Lord has done in the past. Oh, but I got another dimension. I'm thankful for what God is getting ready to do in my life. See, some of you, you're stuck in the mud and you're in front of the gate and the gate is not unlocked because you're not thankful. Oh, glory to God. You're looking at somebody else's stuff, but you ain't thankful for what you have. Oh, glory to God. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm thankful for mine because what God has for me it is for me. Oh, glory to God. What's the subject? Oh, glory to God. It's time to enter. Glory to God. Your neighbor thanking God. Your neighbor is thankful. But you looking. Glory to God for God to bless you at the next level. But you ain't got a dime's worth of faith. But you want a thousand dollars. You ain't got a dime's worth of faith. But you want God to give you a raise on your job. Oh, you ought to praise him right now. Tell your neighbor, I'm getting ready to enter. You got to know the value of the presence of God. The presence of God is the best place that you can be. Oh, glory to God. Let me say it one more time. The presence of God is the best place that you can be. I know some of y'all would rather be in a restaurant right now. Glory to God. But the presence of God is the best place that you can be. Some of you thought it was the movies. Some of you thought it was the amusement park. Some of you thought, glory to God, it was on Miami Beach. But I come to tell you, the best place that you can be is in the presence of God. And it's unfortunate. Fortunate that the church don't value the presence of God. The psalmist said in his see what well, I know I gotta teach it now. In his presence, there is fullness of joy. The reason why some of y'all are unhappy, because the only time you even feel a sense of God is when you come into the church, but when you've got a relationship with God, I can be driving down the highway, oh glory to God, and access his presence in the name of the Lord in my car. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Because you need the presence of God more when you're out there than you do in Oh, glory to God. We're here together. We're touching and agreeing. We believe in the same God. We believe what God has done for us. But out there, you might run into some folk that don't believe the way you believe. And you may encounter circumstances that you need an answer from God. 
God. But how many know all you got to start doing is say, Lord, I thank you. Oh, that's going to get his attention. Oh, glory to God. If you want to get God's attention, change your pity in the praise. Oh, glory to God. Come on. Just begin to thank him. And the Lord said, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm listening now. Oh, glory to God. What are you thankful for? Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. He hears you start thanking him while you're walking around the house, while you're vacuuming in the carpet, while you're cooking in the name of the Lord, while you're doing some things on the job. The Lord said, what'd you say? I'm thankful. Oh, glory to God. Somebody ought to give God the praise in here and be thankful because if you begin to thank him, oh God, I want to try it right now. Let's try God right now. Give him a praise of thanksgiving. Just send up, Lord, I thank you. Come on, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank him. Just thank him. Everything's not going my way, God. But I thank you. I thank you, God. Because, Lord, I see beyond my condition. I see beyond my pain. I see beyond what's trying to make me lose my mind. I see beyond those that don't mean me no good. And I say, Lord, I thank you. Thank you, because I know what I prayed. Oh, somebody ought to praise him right now. Does anybody got some prayers before God right now? I just want to know, does anybody have an impossibility before God right now? I double dog dare you to give him thanks like you already have it. Thank you. I can't see it, but Lord, I thank you. But through the eyes of faith, it's already done. Because we walk by faith and not by sight. Oh, come on, give God a praise in here. Change your attitude. Because Thanksgiving is the right attitude to enter in. Oh, God, we need your presence, God. We need need your voice God oh come on bless him right now in the name of the Lord the psalmist says enter into his gates with thanksgiving but the Lord is asking once you're behind the gate don't you want to move further I'm not satisfied in the outer court, mother. Oh, glory to God, I got to teach this, but I'm going to preach it this morning. I'm not satisfied with just going behind the gate. Because now that I'm behind the gate, because I thank God, now I'm in the outer court. Oh, glory to God. Somebody say outer court. But I don't want to remain in the outer court but I want to go into the inner court oh glory to God will y'all let me finish this next week oh glory to God in the outer court now I'm going to the tabernacle in the outer court it's open the light of the sun Lights the outer court. Oh, you ought to praise him in here. It's where the sacrifice is prepared. In the outer court, it's the brazen altar where the animal was sacrificed. But before the priest went in, he had to wash his hands before he went into the inner court. See, some of us, we can't get into the inner court because we got dirty hands oh glory to God we come before God sloppy we come before God and we come to church and we look into who and what and what folks is wearing and we ain't trying to see God and glory to God let me tell you something now if you can't see God here don't tell me that you go into your secret closet. Don't, 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 don't tell your neighbor, don't even try it.
Because I'm the, sometimes the attitude is, what I need this for? I go into my secret closet and I close the door and the glory of God just fills the room. Stop lying. Because if you can't get in the presence of God here, you're struggling out there. You're having issues out there. And the Lord said, I want to take you from the gate to the outer court, into the inner court. I'm going to stop with the inner court this morning. I ain't going too far. I ain't going too far because then I got to reteach it all over again. We have to want to have an inner court experience with God. And let me say this to you. If there is no thanksgiving, there is no praise. And then, then you hear people say, that the, the, uh, this is the other crazy thing I hear people say, I'm a worshiper. How? John 4 tells us that God is a spirit and they that worship him, I'm ahead of myself, but help me, that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. You can't worship a God you don't know. You can't worship a God when you're looking for more truth and all the truth is in the Bible. Some folks are looking for the 67th book. They're looking for another word from God. And God is saying, I've given you everything that you need. But you can't say, I'm a worshiper and you're not a praiser. You can't be a praiser unless you're thankful. Oh, glory to God. And let me tell you something. This, this message is examining me is just as much as it examining you. Those of you that are online, you are part of this church. So I'm not saying, excuse me, you're in this service too. What were you doing during the worship? Where was your mind? I need a chair. Give me a chair. I'm almost done. Give me 15 more minutes. Just give me a chair. Find me a chair. Because I'm going to show you what I saw. And some of you say, I ain't coming back next Sunday because Pastor picked on me all last week. I ain't trying to. I'm trying to help. There's another dimension that God wants to take us into. We have to be self-starters when it comes to worship. We have to be self-starters. Don't wait for your neighbor to start the fire. You start the fire. I don't do that. That's not in my personality. What is this? What's this? Praise and worship is going on. What's this? It makes me want to go back to Africa. Af in Africa, I would st they would start a song and the whole congregation would run up to the altar, mother, like they were the praise and worship team. Where is our mind? Because thanksgiving and praise must originate in the mind. It does not originate in the spirit. Because you know, people are so spiritual that they're no earthly good. And they're so spiritual, you know, that, 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 that you know, ooh and ah. No, God has just been good. That's why I lift my hands. 
That's why I clap my hands. That's why I rejoice. That's why I bless his name. I look back on yesterday. He blessed me yesterday. He blessed me last week. He blessed me five years ago. But I'm thankful for what the Lord is doing right now. Because I could be lost. I could be unsaved. I could have a needle in my arm. I could be hooked on, uh, hooked on drugs. I could be doing all kinds of things. But I'm here to give God the glory. I don't know how I'm going to put this together, but there's some other scriptures that is coming, in, coming to my mind. Let me sit down right now in the name of the Lord. Oh, let, glory to God. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. But let me give you another scripture right here. The, the Romans tells us, glory to God, I beseech you. Paul says, I beg you. I plead with you. Therefore, brethren and sisterin. By the mercies of God. It is by God's mercy that we could come in here and sing a song. It is by God's mercy that I could stand up. It is by God's mercy that over seven years ago, y'all know I had spinal surgery. And I'd be up here preaching and the pain would go away, Minister Simmons, while I was preaching. But when I got home, I felt like a knife was sticking in my back. But it's the mercy of God that I'm standing up right now. It's by the mercy of God that I can preach his word. But Paul says, I beseech you, I beg you by the mercies of God that you would present the body that God gave you. I don't care what that body looks like. It could be skinny. It could be fat. It could be short. It could be tall. It could be light. It could be dark. It could be polka dots on it. But he gave you this body. Not to be dead. Pinch your neighbor and see if they're alive. Y'all afraid to do it. Y'all don't. Y'all don't, y'all don't believe in no, y'all don't believe in no, no message interaction. I'm almost done. By the mercies of God that you present your body a living sacrifice. A dead sacrifice can't get through the gate because it can't walk. We got enough dead sacrifices. They don't belong in the church. And trust me, I'm not going to try to ignite y'all to praise God right now. Y'all, y'all, th- y'all think I'm going to go, yeah, no, no, not today, not today, not today. I want y'all to listen today. Y'all want to shout, you can. To present the body that God has given you with all the issues that the body has. Uh-huh. Yeah. Let me tell you how God going to bless you. When your feet hurt, think about Jesus' feet. Uh 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 If you got some little arthritis in your hands, think about Jesus' hands. A headache, please. Think about the crown of thorns that was on his head. Body aches, think about the spear that was thrown in his side. Present your body a living sacrifice. Well, let me backpedal. It's by the mercy of God. God renewed his mercy this Sunday for you to come into the house of God to thank him, to praise him, and to worship him. He had enough grace and enough mercy so that you could get up on time after setting the clock forward. Anybody wake up late this morning? I ain't see anybody come in late. You know, you got to you get all the, the cars. You know, they were just having. Yeah. They got up late. They, 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 they was on. They was on the past daylight saving time schedule. That happened. But he renewed his mercy, as Lamentations tells us. He renews his mercy every morning.
by the mercies of God that we would present our body. That means we have a choice. Let me share this with you. Thanksgiving and praise is a choice. I'm not going to mess with you, but I'm going to teach you. I'm messing with you a little bit this morning. But I'm going to teach you that there is a need for us to present our bodies a living sacrifice. So I'm in Psalms 104 and I'm in Romans 12 and 1 right now. That you present your body a living sacrifice. The dead sacrifices were in the Old Testament. That had to be done every year. The scapegoat was given and they released one and kept the other. And animals were sacrificed unto the Lord. Now we, the person that you look in, look at in the mirror, you know that face you washed this morning? I hope you wash your face. That's the sacrifice. Holy. Holy. Because the Lord said, be ye holy for I am holy. We are separate. We are set aside. We are not better than, but we are set aside. We are a peculiar people. We want the world to know that we are different. What? Our conversation, our interests, our focus is on God. We just don't look at the Bible. We study the Bible. We read the Bible. To the best of our ability, we live the Bible. The Bible is not just a book, but the Bible is the way of life. The Bible gives us the answers to every problem that under the sun, because his word will not return unto him void. Present this body that God has given you a living sacrifice. I'm getting ahead of myself, but the psalmist says that praise is comely, which means praise looks good on you. Bro, you look handsome when you praise God. Sis, you look handsome, you look pretty when you praise God. Praise looks good on you. Why did I why did you pause on your praise? I'm talking to those that did. Why did you pause on your praise? Why did you need somebody to to pump you to praise God. God don't need no cheerleaders. He needs worshipers. Because if we don't praise him, the rocks will cry out. And if the rocks don't cry out, there's angels that are saying, hallelujah, 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 24 hours a day. Could you imagine going to heaven and crossing your arms and folding your legs? Some of you like, Lord, you made a mistake. Wait a minute, hold on. No. But we have to realize that worship will take place everywhere. On the earth, this is just a rehearsal of what's going to happen in heaven. This is going to be some good news for some of y'all. I'm backing up here. I'm going, I'm, the Lord has given me so much to talk about. There's no church in heaven. Tell your neighbor, there's no church in heaven. The Bible says there's no temple there. There's no temple in heaven. We're not going to church. I know some of y'all will be upset about that. Say, Jesus, you know, you need to revisit this. We need to, you know. No, there's not going to be any church. Because worship will be everywhere. That's how we want our sanctuary to be. We want worship to be everywhere. On every pew. In every section, we want worship to take place. Now, let me back up. A living sacrifice, holy and acceptable. Now, let me ask. This is a personal question. I'm going to ask myself. Did God accept my praise this morning? Did he accept my thanksgiving? We ain't even going to talk about worship. That ain't even it. We ain't going to talk about that. We got, that that's, that's another section. Did he accept? Holy and acceptable unto who? Unto God. We don't want God to reject the sacrifice of praise. It is the fruit of our lips. Oh, glory to God. It is the fruit of our lips, Hebrew says. It is the fruit of our lips, which means all the meditators, you meditating too much. When praise is going on, Come on now. 
we should be demonstrating that we are thankful. That's where the praise comes in. You know how somebody says thank you, but they don't demonstrate that they're thankful? Oh, come on, be honest, be honest. Come on, hey, hey, you know, do you know anybody like that? You give them something, and, they, and you know, they say thank you, but they don't demonstrate that they're thankful? That's when praise comes in. You demonstrate that you are thankful. And sitting behind a pew doing this, that says you have an attitude. Oh, glory to God. There should be movement in the church. This church is not dead, it's alive. We know how to praise God. We know how to praise him with music and without music. But I had to revisit this today. Excuse me, musicians. I appreciate you. You know I do. But I, I just got to spend this time this morning. If we want to get past the gate into the outer court, we have to be thankful. The outer court is thanksgiving. The inner court is praise. The inner court is covered by ram skin and goat's hair. So there's a problem. There's no light in the inner court. Mm. So what lights the inner court is the lampstand that the priest has to intentionally light to provide illumination in the the inner court. Oh, glory to God. Help me, Jesus. We have to talk about the posture of thanksgiving. What does thanksgiving sound like? What does praise look like? We're going to have to talk about David. When the Ark of the Covenant was returned to David... The Bible lets us know that when David saw the Ark of the Covenant coming, he danced out of his clothes. Can't handle it all this morning. But we must rethink why we come to church. We must rethink what we do when we come here. We must rethink what is God's expectation. Is thanksgiving still relevant? Is praise still relevant? I choose not to be in a quiet church. It's real quiet right now. Y'all can be quiet now if you're listening. You know, that's fine. That's all right. That's okay. And be honest with you. You're not going to always feel like praising God. Can I be transparent with you this morning? In my mind and in my body this morning, I really didn't want to be here. Oh, I know that surprises some of you, don't it? But in my spirit, I had to be here. Because some of you know what it's like when you're not feeling it, but you come into the house of worship and you feel the presence of God and you see people thanking and magnifying the Lord. It begins to encourage you. And I begin to look at Brother Herb and I begin to look at Brother Keith and I begin to look at Sister Hubbard and I say, look, they must be going through too, but they're still clapping their hands. They're still shouting for joy. He's my God too. I'm about to close. I said that once and then I already saw it. Everybody's going through something. Oh, glory to God. I don't know where I, I'm going to tell you what my message was. So I mean, I'm a, I was coming from Psalm 37 and I'm going to preach a message this morning called Don't Worry. Don't worry, Jim. Just get it. Don't worry, Jim. Just get it. Just get it, Pastor. And the Lord. And the Lord just shifted us this morning. I'm going to preach it at some time. I, the Lord has put a lot of my messages on pause because he said, let me do what I want to do. But everybody's going through something. Don't think that you're by yourself. 
Somebody's going through physical pain. Somebody's going through mental issues. Somebody's going through relationship issues, family problems, marital problems, job problems, community problems. Everybody's going through something, but it's something about when you have a relationship with God, you don't let that something stop you from thanking him and praising him because it's just a matter of time that the Lord is going to bring you out. So you might as well thank him in advance. Read the read the hundred song. I want to break this down one more time for you. You hear directives like make, serve, come, know. Glory to God. Directives that. Tell us how to get into the presence of God. Can I remind you one more time? The presence of God is the most valuable. It's the best place that we can be. Because if you know how to get into the presence of God, every dimension of your life will be blessed, even if the devil don't like it. If you say that you're a worshiper, be one. Let me, let me stop here. You might say, Why does, how does a person learn how to thank and praise God. Well, let me pause here. What if they were watching you for their example? Oh, glory to God. I used to ask this question, so I'm going to ask this last question, and I promise you I'm going to stop. I want you to close your eyes. I do this test when I used to teach praise and worship. Just close your eyes. Come on. Come on. Humor me. Close your eyes. Now, go back to the worship service right now, the worship service that we just experienced when, you know, uh, Sister Miko was leading us in worship, and me and Eric, to the best of our ability, trying to help her out. Just go back to that time. Close your eyes. And I want you to ask yourself this question. While your eyes are closed, what if everybody was praising God just like me? What if everybody in the church was praising God just like me? What did you see? Some of you saw a nightmare. Some of you saw a service that was ignited with thanksgiving and praise. But some of you saw a dead church. And we're not a dead church, are we? We are alive as unto God. Tell your neighbor, it's time to enter in. It's time to enter in. We're going to do what is necessary. Go behind the gate. Men, loosen up. Women, they pretty much got this thing down. Men, we need some help. There's a reason for it, too. So just hold on. Tell your neighbor one more time, it's time to enter in. Come on, put your hands together in Jesus' name. Thank you for bearing with me this morning. In the name of the Lord, I thank God for the shift in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. At this time, we're going to prepare ourselves in the name of the Lord to receive anyone that needs salvation this morning. Over the last two weeks, two souls went down in the waters of baptism in the name of the Lord, hallelujah. I think my sister is here this morning that went down in Jesus' name. Stand to your feet so that we can give the Lord a round of applause in the name of the Lord. Sit down, not y'all, her. Come on, put your, put your hands together for her in the name of the Lord. We thank God for you. The work that God has begun in your life, he's going to be faithful to complete it. And the church is going to celebrate what God has started in your life in the name of the Lord. And we give God all the praise. The angels in heaven are rejoicing because you went down in the waters of baptism, acknowledging Jesus Christ in his life, his death, his burial, and rising from the dead on the third day in Jesus' name. Thank God for you. At this time, in the name of the Lord, is there anybody that needs to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior? You may be unsure about salvation. You may be, may be insure, you may be unsure of where you're going to spend eternity, but you can rest assured that you can make the decision this morning to accept Jesus Christ 
as your Lord and Savior. And if that's you, you need to come. If you don't know who Jesus is, you haven't repented of your sins, you haven't been baptized in water, you need to come now in the name of the Lord so that we can pray with you and for you. If you haven't been filled with the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues, you need to come now. I want to say to you that Jesus laid down his life for you. He shed his blood on Calvary. He voluntarily died for us that we might be redeemed, that we might be forgiven of all of our sins, past, present, and future in the name of the Lord. And we can secure our eternal home, glory to God, in glory with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. One day I'm going to see him face to face. What about you? In the name of the Lord. So if you desire to come, you can. If you have walked away from God for any reason and you need to reestablish your relationship with the Lord, we want to pray and intercede with you that God will do exactly that. How many know that God doesn't walk away from anybody? People walk away from him in the name of the Lord Jesus. But we would be remiss if we did not ask or uh, offer Christ in Jesus' name. And we believe the Bible tells us to repent godly sorrow turn away from our old man and turn toward Christ be baptized every one of you for the remission of your sins and the promise is you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost according to Acts 2 and 4 the God we serve ladies and gentlemen brothers and sisters is still in the soul saving business glory to God There's, every day is an opportunity for someone to be saved in Jesus name so before we lift our offering this morning, I want to just let you know, once again, prayer and Bible study this coming Wednesday from 6 to 6.55. The fourth Sunday, which is March 24th, um, will be our um, Faith Expressed on a T-shirt Sunday. That means you can wear a T-shirt that expresses your faith. We'll have name tags available so that everyone can know each other by name. And it's just a unity Sunday that we pause and that we do every now and then just to encourage unity, to encourage church fellowship in the name of the Lord. You know, some of y'all sit in the same places on the same side. This side don't even know what that side of the church look like. This side don't know what that church. Go talk to somebody that you ain't talked to before and introduce yourself. And we want to just stimulate that. So on the, on the fourth Sunday, which will be the 24th, we'll have faith expressed on a t-shirt Sunday. That doesn't mean you have to go out and buy one. If you don't want to, that's fine. But if you do have one, you know, you can wear the one you wore before and Let's do this as unto the Lord. Now, the fifth Sunday is Resurrection Sunday. It is March 31st. And on that Sunday, we will have the seven last words from the cross. If you remembered last, last, last Sunday, well, last res uh, Resurrection Sunday, we did the last seven words from the cross. I want you to be present in this service, and we're going to hear the word and part it in Jesus' name. So... Uh, we want you to be mindful of that. Now, those of you that are credentialed, um, these old missionaries and deacons, we want you to make sure that you uh, pay your credential fee for the year um, to keep your credentials in good standing. And deacons, missionaries, as well as uh, ministers and elders, you have an obligation to the organization to keep your credentials current and uh, We'll be going to Norfolk, Virginia for the uh, leadership seminar, which will, uh, we, will we will give those, um, those uh, funds to the, uh, the organization, and then you will get your credential card. So we're going to ask you, if you give it in the offering, make sure that you put, it's for my credentials. That's for missionaries, deacons, ministers, and elders. Make sure you designate that it's going for your credentials. Otherwise... It will go toward tithe and offering, and we don't want to make that decision for you. We want you to decide where that goes in the name of the Lord. So once again, we are preparing to worship the Lord in our giving, and we want you to do this as unto the Lord. And we want you to be clear where you want your tithe and offerings to go. So if you do it on GiveLify, designate whether it's tithe, designate whether it's offering, good success or greater work seed. Good success, just a pause, is $824, and your greater work seat is $1,000, and you select which one you're going to sow into. But once again, there's sometimes an issue with, you know, uh, 
bad handwriting. Um, now, let me say this to you. No one put an IOU in the offering. Don't put an envelope in the bucket that says an IOU. That means you put a blank envelope in there with no money in it. Why y'all looking at me like that? Y'all just saying that because of some... <laughs> We just, we just want you to make sure that you, whatever you put in there, you designate where you want it to go. We can't be God giving no matter how we try. In the name of the Lord, if you desire to have a report of your giving for 2023, just call the church office and we'll make sure that you are, uh, you can either pick it up or we'll, it can be mailed to you in the name of the Lord. And I want to pause to say thank you for all of you that support the church financially it allows us to exist as a ministry it allows us to remain open and we don't have any desire to close in the name of the lord sister neely i've been trying to reach you and you just pop up you just pop up on me like that you know sister neely mother neely is that you back there <laughs> yes sir okay that's mother neely i knew my eyes was weren't failing me in the name of the Lord, okay, all right. So um, we want to continue to sow. We're going to continue to be a blessing to the household of faith. We believe if we bless God's house, he's going to bless ours in Jesus' name. So let us stand to our feet. You can log on to givelify.com as well as grtchurch.org. If you need an envelope, there's some envelopes here. If you're not giving electronically and you need an envelope, you can come and get an envelope from me in the name of the Lord if you would do that. That would be a blessing in Jesus' name. So let us at this time prepare to sow, but I want you to bow your heads and humble your hearts before the Lord in Jesus' name. Let's bring the music down just a little bit in the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you, we praise you, we honor you in the beauty of holiness, allowing us to be in your presence together, hearing your voice, hearing your word, thanking you and praising you and worshiping you together. Lord, I ask you, Lord God, that you would bless the people of God going out and coming in. Lord God, bless as we sow a portion of what you have so graciously given back, Lord, we give back to you, Lord God. You have been so faithful to us. You have blessed us in our spirit, soul, and body. You have blessed our families. Lord God, as we delight ourselves in you, you have been faithful to give us the desires of our heart in the spirit realm, Lord God. You have supplied all of our need according to your riches and glory, and we are thankful that all of our needs are met. Every bill is paid. Every obligation is paid. Lord God, multiplication and addition will take place in the financial realm as well as in the spiritual realm. We we give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor. Let souls continue to be saved, encouraged, burdens lifted. Let us continue as a ministry, Lord God, in the name of the Lord, as your people sow today. If we sow bountifully, we'll reap bountifully. If we sow sparingly, we'll reap sparingly. For God, we know that you love a cheerful giver in Jesus' name. Repeat after me. This is my tithe. I give it as an expression of my covenant with God. It is a reflection of my love, honor, and obedience. I declare that the windows of heaven are open and blessings will flow in my life. I will never be broke. I reject poverty. I embrace prosperity. I thank God I am a tither. I thank God I am a giver. Let's do it together all in Jesus' name. Come from the rear. Everyone walks so no one has to walk over you. Just touch the bucket with your device. Put your envelope in the bucket in the name of the Lord. We thank God for you today. In the name of the Lord, hallelujah. Greater Refuge, you've been so faithful. You've been so kind, so benevolent. And let's continue to sow in Jesus' name. From the youngest to the oldest, we give God all the praise. He's worthy. Let's expect a wonderful week, a productive week, a week where we walk in God's favor. But be thankful, praise him and worship him in spirit and in truth. In the name of the Lord, hallelujah. Glory to God, glory to God. We thank God for those of you that have sown, that are watching online. We ask that you would click the uh, the link above this video that you're watching, let us sew together. I'm going to ask all of you to stay until the end of the service in Jesus' name.
But I want to do something real quickly in the name of the Lord, in the name of Jesus. Mother Neely, come up here, please. Take, bring her up here, bring her up here, because I'm going to have to come and get her myself. Bring her up here. This is something that we do when someone reaches their 90s. How are you? Hanging on, good old girl. Tell the congregation how old you are. Do I have to? Yes, you do. 90. <laughs> I know you don't. Uh, she's 90 years old. And I hope when I'm 90, I'm this fit and this happy. And it's amazing. It's amazing. And I've been looking for you, but now I found you. So what we're going to do is we're going to bless you. <laughs> I love you guys. Because, because she turned 90 years old. So I want everyone to get a seed in your hand. And let's be a blessing to Mother Neely. Because we're going to raise an offering for you when you turn 90. And so we want to do this as unto the Lord. Come on, stand with me. Grab a seed in your hand, however you're led. And let's do this in the name of the Lord. I need something to put it in. Where? Oh, we got the offering. Let me see. Uh, Rob. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, all right. We need it now, not tomorrow. We need it now. Come on. Okay, Sister Neely, Mother Neely, you don't have to do this. Come stand in front and cup your hands. That's all. All right, come on. Let's bless her. Let's bless her. We're going to bless her. Come from the rear. Come on, just put it in her hand in the name of the Lord. Come on, everybody come. In the name of the Lord. Come on. Blessing her. In the name of the Lord. Come on, let's bless her. In Jesus' name. Let's do it as unto. There we go. Now we got to put it there. There you go. There we go. 90 years old, the Lord gave her four, four score and ten. In the name of the Lord, God bless you. It's another mother that I'm looking for to turn 90 in the name of the Lord too. Thank you for showing that love, Greater Refuge Temple. This is what we do. This is what we do. In the name of the Lord, God bless you. God bless you. Look at all that love you get, Mother. In the name of the Lord, where are we going out? To, where are we going to eat? Where are we going to eat? You taking me out to eat? Where are we going? I like Longhorns right about now. <laughs> Let's give Mother Neely a hand. Praise. Ninety years on the earth. God bless you. In the name of the Lord. Give it to. God bless you. Let's give Mother Neely a hand in the name of the Lord. We're getting ready to go home. Stand, Greater Refuge Temple. Everyone stand. Everyone stand. Everyone stand. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. We have thanked God. We have praised God. We have worshiped God. Expect some messages on praise and worship. In the name of the Lord, we've offered the plan of salvation. In Jesus' name, we've participated in the ministry of giving. In the name of the Lord, and we've even celebrated the 90 years that God has given Mother Mildred Neely. And we thank God for that in Jesus' name. Have a wonderful week. I love you all. Thank you for your patience with me. Thank you for the love that you give your pastor and the first lady of this church in the name of the Lord and my family. We are so grateful in the name of the Lord. Let's have a wonderful week. Let's walk in the favor of God. Tell somebody it's time to enter in. It's time to enter in. Let the words of my mouth. And the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. In Jesus' name, let the church say, Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day in the name of the Lord.